this was Hosea chapter 12 verse 3 and he took his brother by the heel in the womb and by his strength he had power with Yahweh. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimia and Shai. I'm going to give double honor to the apostles of great mercy not rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole land since I elect. This is Makazar from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. Alright, and right now, guess what? We need time of Jacob taking hold of Esau's heel. We need time where Yahaba Shemya or Shai is going to what? Is he's going to come in and destroy our enemies and deliver us. Alright? So right about now, you no know, Jacob has his hand on Esau's heel. We are the end of this road. Alright? And we could see it and we could feel it. Alright? Guess what? There's a little sarcastic statement, but guess what? Just yesterday was the Sabbath. Alright? Now the Sabbath was Sunday evening. But guess what? Um, Saturday evening, my bad. But, but now it's Thursday. And then in the next two days, it's going to be the Sabbath again. Alright? That is just to show you how time is speeding up. The Lord said he will hasten those days. Hasten the coming of the Lord. So we see the time hasten up. The Lord hastened to bring that destruction upon Esau. And to bring his recompense. The day of his recompense is swiftly coming. Alright? The day of his recompense of the downfall of Esau is swiftly coming. By the hands of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And the scripture said he will bring evil upon Esau by the hand of his people Jacob. And that is how Jacob going to have his hand upon his heel. To pull him down. To throw him off his feet. Alright? This is 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra chapter 6. Verse, um, I said that verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, When Jacob and Esau were born, Jacob's hand held first of Esau's heel. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Alright, so that was symbolically showing that, guess what? Jacob going to pull Esau out of that rulership. When it says Esau is the end of the world, with the word world was commonly used for age. So Esau is the end of that age, that age period where we wouldn't be in our kingdom. With death would reign from Adam until, until the end when Yahweh shall come to deliver us. Esau is the end of that age. Alright? And Jake, gonna symbolic, symbolically, when it says that he put his hand on his heel, means that what he gonna take him down, he gonna pull him out of his rulership. The scripture said, um, the saints shall take the kingdom. Thus with violence shall Babylon be cast down. It says what? Going on. It says, verse 10, And the hand of man is betwixt the heel and the hand. Or the question Ezra asked thou not. Now when you look at the, um, the statue, who the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had, the hands were who? Were the, the um, were of silver, which was representing who? The Medio Persians. And that was the, the kingdom that Ezra was in. Alright? And it says what? He betwixt the hands and the heel. So at that time, sure, now guess what? We were we we weren't at the end yet. Because we were we, we were close to the hands. But now we are at the feet. We are at the feet of of, of, of this of this be of this statue. With the ten toes raining that, that 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 shall be partly strong and partly weak. We are at the end where Yahaba Hashem Yahusha is coming to destroy them. To cast them down and where they shall be no more. They shall be no more. Because why? Because the Lord gonna take Esau out of rulership and raise Jake up in his place. The scripture said, Out of prison cometh he that will reign. Alright? And we coming out of prison and we're gonna reign upon the earth. Alright? So all the wickedness that we see Esau doing Jacob around the world, guess what? The time of his recompense coming and he's gonna be destroyed. Thus say the Lord. Alright? Because what the Lord did, the Lord. The reason we ended up in slavery is because we sinned against Yahaba Hashem Shai. But the Lord actually set up this whole thing that we being in Esau's hand will also lead to his destruction. Because the hatred that Esau had towards us, according to Obadiah, the hatred that he showed towards us, is going to cause him to be, to be cast off forever. Alright, this is Jeremiah chapter 50. 
verse 24, it says, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. All right? So it says what? The Lord lay a snare for you. When you lay a snare for somebody, it's like you lay a trap by their foot. All right? And that trap is where the Lord lay when he put e um, Jacob in Esau's hand. And, and Esau did all his pleasure and all the wickedness that he could imagine against Jacob. All right? The Lord basically gave him the instrument of his own destruction in nuclear missiles. So the Lord lay a snare for you. All right? And thou art not aware. Thou art found and also caught because thou hast striven against the Lord. And you striven against the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh by coming against his people. And you're caught by the foot. So now Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh ready to take you down. To ready to, 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 to sweep you off your feet. All right? This is the book of Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 35. It says, To me belong it vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. Alright? So the th things that come upon Esau make haste. Because the Lord looking for his feet to slide. Lord, Lord have your mighty feet and just to slip you off your feet. As we could see the days, the days passing rapidly. Alright? The men that in the know could see it. They could see the days passing rapidly. Alright? The year just started. Guess what? It, it, it almost finished. The Lord speed up the time to bring the day of Esau destruction. Because what the scripture said. Let's see if I can find this precept here real quick. Um, this is a um, boom, 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 boom. Just bear me one second. Ah, this is Romans chapter eight. Verse, I said that verse 18. It says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh. All right? So even Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai up there patiently waiting for, for the day when, you know, his father Yahweh said, Hey, go and deliver your brethren. All right, Yahweh shy eagerly waiting, and just like we eagerly waiting, the Lord said, What the, the, the day of their calamity it hastened. All right, it hastened. All right, when you look at um, Isaiah 63, verse 4, it says, What the day of destruction is in his heart. So the Lord patiently waiting to come and destroy Esau, the hand on your heel right now, Esau. And it's only a matter of time before you have Hashem Shai cast you off your feet. And as the scripture said in wisdom of Solomon, to cast you headlong. Alright. This is the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2, verse 34. It says, Thou sawest till the stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were iron and clay, and break them in pieces. So Yahaba Hashem Shai coming at the feet to destroy this, this whole beast. Alright? To symbolically pull you, because the hands on your heel means that Yahweh Shai coming to symbolically pull you. Out of your out of your, your kingdom, out of the, the you know the high the high point that you're at right now, alongside Jacob, because the scripture said he's gonna bring destruction upon Esau by the hand of his people Jacob. Alright? So the people that you hate, the people that you scorn, and the people that you have in, in the region daily, guess what? We're gonna have our hands upon your feet and soon our feet upon your neck. Alright? 
by the power and the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, we're gonna destroy you Edomites. All right, the day of your calamity hasten to come. Our hands are on your feet right now, Esau. All right, your kingdom is done. Verse 35, then was the iron and the clay and the brass and the silver and the gold broken in pieces together and became like chaff of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away and no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Now that stone is Yahweh Shai. And instead of filling the whole earth, guess what? Yahweh Shai going to rain the whole earth. Pursuing to Revelation chapter 19 verse 11, he said, you know, the Lord coming to bring war. And what? He's going to have upon his head many crowns. Because the Lord came conquering and to conquer. And in righteousness he doth make war. And took down all the nations to rule the world. Alright? So the Lord ready to set up his kingdom. And guess what? He saw you anyway. And you're going to get swept away. Alright? This is verse 43. It says, Daniel 2 and 43. It says, And as the toes... Of the feet were part iron and part clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. All right, because you see all these Edomites, they have problems with each other right now. All right, it says, and whereas thou sawest the iron mixed with murray clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron um, is not mixed with clay. It says, and in the days of these kingdom. The God of heaven shall set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people but shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. So Yahweh Hashem Shai coming at the feet to destroy, to take, to sweep you up. Guess what? When you have a strong man, guess what? The, the, the easiest way to take him on the ground is by what? Taking away his footing. All right? To make his feet slide, just, just to sweep him off his feet, all right, and let him hit the ground. And that is what the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshai coming to do. The feet symbolically representing the end of his kingdom, and also Yahweh Hashem Yahshai pulling him out of his kingdom, all right. And and guess what? This time it it is swiftly coming. His time swiftly coming, all right. And to prove that we are we are in we are in those days. All right, this is the final precept here. This is Micah chapter 4, verse 10. It says, Be in pain and labor to bring forth. And we be in pain and we labor to bring forth right now. O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go out of the city, and we did in 70 AD. And thou shalt dwell in the field, and we did dwell in, in, in the northern parts of Africa. All right, and parts in Asia. And guess what? We were scattered throughout all the world. All right, and thou shalt go even to Babylon, which we came here in the transatlantic slave trade, because this is modern day Babylon. There shall thou be delivered. Guess what? From ancient Babylon, we weren't delivered from ancient Babylon. All right, we went from Babylonian captivity into the Medio Persia captivity. And there shall Yahaba Hashem Yahashai redeem thee from the hand of thy enemies. So the Lord is going to redeem us from the hand of Esau right now. All right, in this time we're gonna be delivered, and guess what? This is gonna be the end of our captivity. He shall no more carry thee out, and Esau is gonna be destroyed. Thus say the Lord. The Lord's hand is on Esau's feet. All right, and guess what? In due time he will slip. So you Edomites, you so-called white people, and you could do whatever you had to do right now. All right, as Revelation twelve twelve say, you know you have a little time remain. So do whatever you had to do, because guess what? The end of your kingdom is here. So I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy that rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole land, Saint Selek. This is Makaza from the Trinidad camp, Saint Shalom.